So today we are going to review uh, a SD card reader. Um, you know they've got this one. This is a, a Mass Voker product. Uh, the vendor on this one, the seller, was iWallet, and everybody refers to this as a. Uh, how the heck do we open this? Everybody refers to these things as an SD TF card reader, and I don't know about you, but I have never referred to a micro SD card as a TF card, but apparently uh, a lot of other people do. Uh, inside the box you've got a nicely wrapped micro and regular SD card reader. Here's the SD card slot, micro card slot. There is your, uh, your USB slot. Now this is a USB A. It's blue, so I think that would indicate a USB 3.0. Um, However, it doesn't say anything about that on the package, and I'm not seeing anything about that actually in the, oh yeah, no, it does say Super Speed USB 3.0 card reader. So uh, we'll definitely try that out, and we're going to test some uh, transfer speeds. Um, I have an SSD, and of course the you know UH, UH1 or U1 or however the heck you refer to that, so that way we'll be able to test some transfer speeds and see if we can exceed the USB 2.0 and get into the USB 3.0 range. On this end, we have our USB Type C connector, um, and I believe, yep, that's cool. That just goes right in there. Right in here, we have a USB, a micro USB connector, um, which you just push out that way, I think, which is pretty cool. There we go. So now we've got our micro USB connector out there as well. So we can actually plug this into any uh, Android phone for the most part. It's been made in the last uh, like four years. Now, how do we get that down? Ah, there's a little blue button right there. You push down on that piece of plastic, it slides right back in. So that's kind of a neat, um, a neat addition there. You're able to to do that. Uh, you know, kind of odd though that the logo's upside down. Um, if you're to plug this in. Pretty much any USB device, it's going to go in like this, and the logo is going to be upside down. Cinda, whoever that is. Anyway, we'll give it a shot. See, uh, see some transfer speeds. Make sure it's a USB 3.0 device. If you guys have any questions, comments, though, make sure to get get them out there, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Um, you do have your instructions, which nobody ever needs to read. At least not for something like this, right? Right. I did receive this for free in exchange for the review. And uh, we'll let you know how it works after I've had a chance to trial it and test it out. Um, I did actually, I got this to replace my last one. The um, problem I was running into is the, um, in the, last, the, the last card reader that I had, the SD card was in the top, micro card was in the bottom. I'll let you guess exactly what happened whenever I plugged it in. Every single time that darn thing came out. So I ended up just having to get an SD card adapter and I would plug that micro card into it and plug it into the top. But it was just, it was annoying that I wasn't able to use it the way that it was intended. Uh, in this case, you know, they're both in the top. So that's why I was excited to get this one and replace that other one. Um, just to give you kind of one of those advantages of this product versus some of those others that are out there. And also, I do not have a type USB Type C connector. I can't even get that back in there. I don't have a USB Type C connector, but it was cool to have that on there. And in addition to that, um, you know, I mean, I may get a Type C with my next phone, or you know, one of the other phones I get later on down the road. Um, but I was also able to get that micro SD connector on there, which is really cool and a really handy thing to have uh, for connecting to, uh, you know, any basically any current phone that you're working on. So. Again, questions, comments, make sure to ask them. I did get this for free, and uh, thanks for watching.